the Shark IQ robot vacuum with self-empty base. Exactly how high is its IQ? Let's quest. friends so we're back with our full review of the shark iq robot with self empty base so earlier we did an unboxing on the shark iq and we've had some time to fully review it so let's get into it now shark says that their iq robot with self emptying base combines the convenience of self empty base plus iq navigation for total home mapping for complete efficient cleaning with the performance of shark suction and the self-cleaning brush roll. This Shark IQ robot works with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, and it's currently on sale at sharkclean.com for $599.40. So what's included in the box? Well, you'll get the Shark IQ robot vacuum. The model is R101AE with that self-empty base. You'll get that self-cleaning brush roll. You'll also get two side brushes and bot boundary strips. Now, if you purchase it from Shark's website, sharkclean.com, you'll also get a 90-day money-back guarantee and a one-year VIP warranty. We did purchase it directly from the Shark website and we had the robot in about three days. So it's a really, really quick turnaround. Now there are a lot of robot vacuums on the market, but the difference between sharks and some of the other robots that they're built to tackle everything, large and small particles, stubborn pet hair, every floor type going from hardwood to carpet, short carpet, thick carpet. The robot will get your edges, corners, and even into little spots that you might overlook. We'll see in just a minute if it does that. Now, as far as initial setup, you download the Shark Clean app to set up the robot. Once you get into the app, you turn the robot on. Right on the side, there's a button to turn it on and off. And the Shark Clean app will recognize the robot. And it's just a matter of you connecting it to Wi-Fi. Now, when you plug in your base, Shark does recommend that you leave five feet on each side of it clear. We only had maybe about three feet on each side clear, but we found that that was more than enough space for the robot to efficiently find its way back to the base. Now during setup, you can go into your Amazon Alexa app or your Google Home app to connect it to either of the assistants that you have. And once you get it connected, it does work pretty well. Now it's really important to remember when you're setting up your Shark IQ robot vacuum for the first time, you definitely wanna do some things while it's charging. Now ours did take about eight hours to charge for the first time. It's important you do let it fully charge before using it. Now during this time that it's charging, it's a good idea to use the time to set up your home or apartment and get it ready for the vacuum. Well, what do I mean by that? I mean, you wanna make it as easy as possible for your robot to clean your space by clearing the way for it. This means clearing up any tight spaces that you don't want the robot to get stuck in because it will, picking up any cords or strings like hanging from blinds or any kind of lights or anything like that that the robot can suck up because the robot can and will go everywhere you do not want it to go. So this is where your boundary tape comes in. At first, we thought it was a lot of boundary tape that Shark was giving you. We quickly realized, after going through the entire roll, that we might need to order some more boundary tape. Well, what did we use it for? We put it under couches or under tables that were a little too low that the Shark would go under and get stuck. Any kind of reclining chairs or sofas, the Shark gets in there easily 
but usually cannot get out of. We put the boundary tape to block places where cords were on the floor that we couldn't really move, like maybe your Wi-Fi router or behind TV entertainment centers where cords are going to be on the floor no matter what. And we also use the boundary tape to seal off some corners or crevices that the shark would really have a hard time getting into and just seem to not be able to get out of. The better you prepare your space for the robot, the better results you will get. Once you're all done with that and the robot's charged, you're ready to start cleaning. Now when your robot is charged, the first thing you'll do, you can either ask Google or Alexa to have your robot start cleaning, or you just open up the app and you press right in the center and the robot will start cleaning. Or you can even press the button right on the top of the robot where it says clean. You can hit clean here. And if you want to stop it, you can hit the return to home button. Now Shark says the robot is great at mapping your home. It definitely is. The robot will learn the space that it's cleaning pretty fast. We found that it took maybe five or six cleanings for it to start to efficiently map the space. But you could tell even after the second or third cleaning that it was starting to learn the area a lot better. The first cleaning is going to be a little rough. It is going to run into things, mainly chairs, like the legs on a chair, the legs on the table, any kind of pillars you have that are kind of sticking out of nowhere. And you will see that the robot is trying to find its way around. It will not go down the stairs. It gets right to the edge and then it realizes it's a drop off and it will avoid the stairs. Also does a good job at avoiding the boundary strips that you put down, but it will get caught under some four leg chairs. Depending on how they're positioned under your table, you may have to watch it. And if the shark can't find its way out, you may have to help get it out of trouble. Now, after the robot has successfully mapped your home, you'll see it right on the app under the map progress, and then you can name each room if you like. This will come in handy later because you can tell the robot to go clean a specific room. We found that the Shark IQ Robot Vacuum did do a good job at mapping. Once it figured out the home, it is very proficient at giving you those nice vacuum streaks and vacuuming in straight lines and not missing too many spots. As far as the suction, it's pretty good. You do have two different modes. Now by default, when it's cleaning, it's set to normal. If you want to say battery and you don't have too much of a mess, you can put it into eco mode and the suction will decrease a little bit. If you really want it to deep clean, you can turn it to max and you can hear how the suction increases. It works well over hardwood floors, well over most carpets, but we found that going over rugs like rugs you might have in your entryway or rugs that have little thick areas or crevices in it, it will not vacuum those very well. The two brushes do help feed debris into the robot's mouth. However, they also can push debris out of the way. For example, if you have a pile of rice on the ground, the robot will most likely push some of the rice out of the way before eventually getting it. Because if the brushes hit the mess or debris while it's spinning outside of the mouth of the robot, it will actually knock it out of the way and you'll just have to hope the shark comes by to get it when it completes the next run of its mapping process. Now the robot is very good at cleaning and resuming. When it senses that it's getting too full, it will automatically return to the base, empty itself, and then resume cleaning in the same spot that it stopped. Same thing for when it needs to recharge. If the robot is getting low on battery, it'll return to its base, charge itself, and then resume cleaning where it left off as soon as it's done charging. So as far as the suction goes, the Shark IQ Robot Vacuum does perform as well as Shark says it will. And you can really see how well the Shark does at cleaning up your rug when you go to empty the base. 
Now the self-emptying base is possibly the biggest reason you'd want to go with the Shark IQ robot with self-empty base. Now Shark says that it'll give you up to 30 days of usage without having to empty it. Now I wanted to test this, so the first time I emptied it was maybe after a few days and there was not much in there. Every time the shark cleans and gets itself full from cleaning, it will go back to the base to self-empty. So after a few days, we decided to empty the base and see how much debris came out of there. It definitely was not full. Like you could tell that there was a lot more space inside the base for it to empty debris into. So I gave it two weeks, then three weeks, and it still had room left in the base. Now, of course, this is going to depend on how much you vacuum. We were running the robot a lot at first, maybe four or five days a week. So if you run it that much, it should last up to the 30 days that Shark is advertising. Now to empty the base, you simply press the button on top of the handle, pull it up, and then there's a little latch on the bottom for you to empty it into the garbage. You might have to tap it a little bit for everything to come out, but for the most part, it does well at emptying. Now we've had some other robots in the past where debris would get caught inside of the bin. So we wanted to check out the shark and see if it had that problem. So when we took the bin outside of the back of the shark, just to see if it was self-emptying as well as it should have been, we found that it was. There's not really anything in the bin showing that when the shark does dock with the base, the base does a great job at pulling all of the debris out of it. Another thing was the self-cleaning brush roll. Now shark says that you shouldn't have to worry about getting any hair or strings tied up on the brush roll. Again, we did have another robot vacuum before that had a huge problem collecting hair, strings, and anything that would get caught on the brush roll. Our previous vacuum would suck it up and it would get all tangled on the brush roll. Now we're gonna do a comparison between that previous vacuum and the Shark IQ robot. And you'll get to see just how messy some of those brush rolls can get. So when we flip the Shark IQ robot over, we're very, very happy to see that the brush roll does self-clean. There may be a few strands of hair that were rolled on the brush roll, but that was no problem to remove. It was such a small amount compared to some of the other vacuums we've tested. So very happy to see that the self-cleaning brush roll does self-clean itself for the most part. So the self-cleaning brush roll and the self-empty base are two really big reasons you'd want to purchase the Shark IQ robot with self-empty base. So what are some of the things that we didn't like about the robot? Well, there were a few. One of the tests that we wanted to conduct was a rice test where we poured down some rice and we wanted to see how the vacuum did with cleaning it up, how fast it cleaned it up, and if it got it. Well, a test that should have taken a few minutes took almost an hour for us to follow the vacuum around and try to get it to clean up this one spot. So one of the biggest things that we didn't like about the Shark IQ robot is it doesn't have a spot clean feature or even a virtual remote control that you can access through the app. Now, as I said before, the Shark does an amazing job at mapping your home and making sure it cleans all the areas it can get to. The only problem with that is, if you were to make a mess in a certain spot, or you want the vacuum just to clean a certain spot, it's not gonna do that on your schedule. You can select what room you want the shark to go to. So if you have a little mess in the kitchen, 
and you don't want to wait till it cleans every other room, you can assign it to clean the kitchen, as we spoke about earlier in the review. But if you have a certain spot or two in that kitchen where you spilled some rice or chips or something like that, the Shark IQ robot will not clean that area until it's completed its route. So with us trying this rice test, the robot would clean a little bit, the brushes would brush a little bit more out of the way, and then it would continue on its mapping route before turning around and coming back to get some more. So without having that spot clean feature or a feature to manually control your robot through the app, like some other robots give you that option, there is no way for you to do any spot cleaning. So if you want it to clean a certain area, you have to wait for it to clean that area and go throughout its entire mapping process of that room before it cleans that one spot. And the other thing would be the brushes. Now, while the brushes are great at feeding debris into the shark's mouth, if you do have a pile of mess, the brushes can and will knock that mess in other spots before the shark will run over them. Meaning, if you have a pile of rice or a pile of something that it can't get into its mouth on that initial run, it's gonna spread the mess before it eventually cleans it all of up. So here at Quest for Tech, we like to rate our reviewed products on a four star scale. And the Shark IQ robot with self empty base is getting three stars. This is a great robot. It is very smart and it does have a high IQ. It does a very good job at mapping your home it doesn't take too many tries to do it and it will navigate around most obstacles for the most part the suction is great as you can expect from most shark products and the self-cleaning brush roll and self-empty base are two things that will save you so much time and stress so you don't have to worry about cleaning the robot so much, if at all. But we do wish it had that spot clean option or if Shark gave you the ability through the app to move your robot back, forward, left, right. So you could use it to knock out a quick mess if you spilled some rice on the ground without having it map your entire room and possibly spread the mess before eventually cleaning it up. So three stars, this is still a great product. If you're looking for something to save you time and help you keep your place clean, you'll love the Shark IQ robot with self empty base. All right, friends, that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for questing with us. We really appreciate you. Do us a favor and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. And if you like what we're doing, leave us a like and share the video with your friends. Thanks so much, everyone. Have an amazing day and never stop questing. Peace.